Millionaire Bill Hall Jr. is dead. His mistress and wife, the two women who claimed they loved him, both choking back tears. What do you say to those people out there that might suggest that it wasn't Bill that you fell in love with, that it was his wealth? I was just willing to go through it all with him. You know, through the ups, the downs, the divorce. You know, what was all the mud that was gonna come through it, all the hell that she was gonna probably put both of us through. I loved this man. I still do. Bill's wife of 32 years, Frances, now sits in prison, convicted of killing Bill after running him off the road on his motorcycle. Despite it all, she swears it was an accident and will love Bill to the day she dies. Even as I was going to trial, I would tell my attorneys not to badmouth him, not to disrespect him, because he's my Bill. You mean his infidelity? Yet this much bad, this and this much good, through the times that he was leading this secret life, he made sure I was his number one. The depth of deception was enormous for three years. It doesn't matter. I love him. And he's the only man that I'll ever love. But Frances shows no love or forgiveness for the other woman in Bill's life, who she claims shattered her world. I know that I never broke up that family. That family was already broken. She's without him, I'm without him. His kids are without a dad. His grandbabies are without a grandpa. So it would be selfish for me to sit here and say that I part of me forgives her, but I do. But not enough to drop her civil action. Bonnie is seeking $2.5 million from the Hall family, alleging emotional distress from the car chase. I find myself in certain situations quite often where I can be driving and out of nowhere, I'll just start, I lose it. I start crying. I still don't know if I hit him or he hit me. And with that, I will live with the rest of my life with it. Because if I did it, oh my God, there is so much remorse in me. And if they want me to show remorse, I have remorse. Sometimes I tell my kids that all that's left of me is a shell of a woman. But I have to be there for them. They've lost their father. Two broken hearts and a father dead. Bonnie says it could happen to anyone. You fall in love with somebody else, she falls in love with somebody else, vice versa. That's not a crime. It happens every day. I'm not a bad person. I just fell in love and I couldn't help it. And if he wasn't willing to let go, why was I?